this is Jackie Flax and I wanted to talk to you this week about Michelle Obama and her flight to Copenhagen and the fact that she was pitching to get the uh, Olympics for Chicago and her personal pitch was she was talking from the heart about her father who had multiple sclerosis and how excited he would be to see the Olympics come to Chicago because he was disabled and it would just mean so much to him and I'm watching this and I'm thinking, yeah, that's terrific, and the Paralympics is amazing, but is there an Olympic sport that anybody with MS could ever aspire to? I mean, this just couldn't happen. I mean, we just there's just not anything that we can do. So it's kind of like, because I've got a sick mind, and because I think that things are funny, that you might not think are funny, and if you're gonna be offended by this, Please turn off now. I want to think of myself sort of like the Chris Rock of multiple sclerosis, i.e. I'm the only black man that can call other black men nigger. So as I've had MS for 30 years, I'm the only one that's going to be able to make fun of MS. And if you don't think it's funny, turn off now. Screw you. Anyway, so my first para-para Olympics. So forget the Paralympics, this is the para para Olympics for people with MS. Well, the first thing that I thought was we could have a DUI, which is, which is like driving under the influence where the police will come and then you will have to walk in a straight line and the person that walks in a straight line, they could win a medal. But then you've got to, I want to, my mind just went to the starting blocks. So we'll go to the starting blocks and we're here and I know that everybody who has MS it's very comfortable in the starting blocks. In fact, so comfortable that actually they can't get up from the starting blocks. So you would start here, and the best thing to do would, would be if we could put like a motor underneath the back of the starting blocks and we could just go and go around the track. So then you wouldn't have to get up from the starting blocks because that would be the real issue. So the one that could stay on their starting blocks as it went around the track, that would be the winner. The next um, event would be, have you seen when the dogs do the agility, they wheedle in and out of the what's it? So we could try and do this one, and then this one, and it would be the, ooh, the person, ooh, the person who didn't fall over, and the person that could stay steady, and the person that didn't hit the poles at all. Um, it would be tough. And remember, you wouldn't be taking the urine sample before the event, but just try not to give a urine sample in the middle of the event. And then the final one. The final one is my favorite, because it's the luge. Okay, now do you remember the luge? If you, if you've seen the toboggan how they go down the mountain really really fast and I know in the able-bodied ones they run at the side of the thing and they jump in but so what we'd have to do for the multiple sclerosis para Paralympics is you possibly would shove two or three people with MS in the luge with a helmet on before the event get one person to give them a shove down because remember they could go okay this we can do really really well and you wouldn't get tired. Uh, but remember, try not to fall out. And how do you stop? Well, that's the key. I haven't worked out that one yet, but if you can think of any other events that people with MS could do in an Olympics, in a para-paralympics, please don't forget to um, get hold of me because I would be very interested to hear. Okay, thanks. Down the mountain.